Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and I'm the owner of Lollipop Box Club and today I'm going to be doing just a very quick, whoops, my planner just popped open. It's a little bit full. Um, I'm going to be doing a DIY in my planner, setting up my planner for next month. I was really, really late with setting up March and it's kind of, I don't know, I just haven't felt ready for March at all. The first week I wasn't ready and so I'm actually going to be setting up for April. I've got a really busy couple of weeks coming up so it's done. Um, we've had a few school emails so I can get things in them. The planner kits by the way if you order the lollipop planner kits they look like this. Um, they should be arriving from today so um, you can also get set up for the month ahead as well and if you haven't seen the kits before and you're interested I will leave the link for you below so you can go and take a nose so I'm going to be doing that I've also got um, a DIY in my traveler's notebook in my creative journal as well so if you're not a planner that's fine there's something for you to do as well um, I'm going to set up my planner I think I've set up the um, filming station over there so I'm gonna get on and sort out my planner for April. So this is my A5 planner, my planner, my weekly planner that I have open on my desk all the time and these are the lollipop papers. This is the April one so at the moment there's absolutely nothing written in it and I'm just going to go through and get set up. comes with a sheet of stickers as well so obviously I'm not going to put anything in the week plans. I use that for like menu planning, cleaning schedules and all that. But I am going to set up my weekly pages. So um, I've got the numbers on the sticker sheets and I'm going to get it all set up ready. I also keep a yearly planner on my desk and um, this has um, everything else in it. This also stays open on my desk and then I can put bits and pieces in there as well. So if it's for several months ahead, I can add things and that's how I work. So today I'll be transferring the April bits and pieces from my yearly planner into my weekly planner and that way I don't miss anything. up for April I've got some important dates I'll do the monthly goal setting possibly in the next week or so and then obviously I will do my schedules nearer to the time um, I've got in all the important dates like we've got school finishing we've got the dentist coming up kids are going away they're going on a solo trip um, Holly's off uni and I've also got work stuff I'm going to Cam's Planicon um, on the 20th of April. That's with Mrs. Brimbles. Mrs. Brimbles is the host. Um, if you haven't been to one of Anna's events before, it's amazing. For everybody that loves planning, I will link up below. I know she had a few tickets still left, so I will link up for you. It's a day event and they are so much fun. Loads of people go on their own, so if you haven't been before, don't be afraid. It's just such a friendly place to go and chat and um, get to see lots of nice planning stuff as well. We've got Easter coming up this month. Holly is away again. She's doing lots this month and that's it. So, and obviously they're nearer to the time I will fill it up. Now, I wanted to create something um, a little bit different for my planner this month. I'm going to be creating a pocket. This little notebook from the kit which I would like to keep in the pocket. I'm one of these. I need something out to remind me. Um, if I have something on another page, I'm not on that page, I forget. So I'm actually thinking about having like a half pocket just so I can pop the notebook in, but then anything else. I'd like to keep things that I can keep listed. Like, you know when you think of, you're flicking through and you see a movie you fancy watching or a Netflix series you fancy watching, and I always forget. And then when we come to an evening and we say, what are we going to watch? We can never find anything. So I want to kind of keep a notebook where I can just jot bits and pieces down like that. But um, I need to keep it to hand. Um, and, and obviously anything else that I kind of want to jot down. So I'm just going to be keeping making a little half pocket to hold this. I'm going this. to double it up with a tracker. I'm going to use this as a tracker. I've been really bad at tracking various bits and pieces, whether it be spending, anything like that. I'm going to give this a go 
and um, see how it goes. So this is going to be on the um, other side. So I'm going to stick those together and then I'm going to make a pocket with this extra piece here. So these are together. I also, I'm also going to start tracking my sleep. Um, I struggle a lot with nightmares. Um, I'm really bad sleep. Like today I've been up since five o'clock just because I had such a bad dream and I didn't want to go back to sleep. Um, so, and I'm going to try and like work out if I've had a walk and all that kind of thing, what I've eaten the night before. So actually, um, I think I'm going to have a sleep tracker this month and see how that goes. So the two bits are stuck together and I'm now going to trim this down slightly. So I've got a half piece at an angle. Done. I've literally just trimmed the paper down so it fits and I'm now going to stick those three edges in place. That's the pocket. I've ended up trimming it down. If I'm totally honest, I completely messed it up. This is take one. I was really happy with it and then I thought, oh I know, I'll make it a little bit shorter. Cut it in half and completely forgot that I was planning to do the April tracker on the back. So um, I had to do another one. So um, I've rounded off the corners this time. I've trimmed it down slightly and um, made the pocket. And now I'm going to add the holes. I do have a punch for an A5, but actually I'm going to use my page as a template. And then let's see, how shall we have this? Um, shall we have it in the middle or at the bottom? I think at the bottom will be better. So I'm going to place that on top and then use that as my template. And I'm going to make the holes. And then that way I know that it will be a good fit. And that fits perfectly. I'm really pleased with that. I've decided not to put the whole notepad in. I'm just going to take a few pages at a time and they can slot in there. Take the postcard and I'm going to cut across that centre piece there and attach that across the bottom. Okay. I've just literally stuck that on, tidied up the edge so it matches and added another hole in the back. Um, what I didn't want was to cover the whole page. It's really important to me. I'm a very visual person so being able to still see the dates at the top really helps otherwise it sounds silly but I forget about things so um, I'm happy just to flick that and what I'm going to do is each week then move it on to the next one. So I've got my pocket and obviously you can use this for anything at all. Shopping lists, anything like that. I do quite like the let's do this. I'm just using a few bits and pieces from the die cuts from the kit. I'll link up the kit below because it matches with um, the planner set and the kits go. They're being packed this week, ready to ship on Monday. I've also got some of the stickers here, so I'm going to use those as well. I've added a few little stickers. We've got let's do this and I've got the notepad and then anything else I can always add. And then I've got my tracker on the back, so I've got no excuse now but to keep track of things. And I'm really pleased with that. Now I wanted to show you something actually. I've made a similar kind of pocket in my creative journal. So my traveler's notebook. This is my creative journal here. This is what I created before. And I used the same concept of the pocket. So I've got paper from the kit behind. I'll give you a better look in a sec. And then I've cut the paper down at an angle again to create the pocket, sticking the three sides only down, leaving the top free attached a photo and then I've cut some bits and pieces or rather the squares out from the squared patterned paper that's coming in the kit um, and I've used that for my journaling so I'll give you a little look and I've just slotted them into the pocket. So there you can see how I've cut the paper down at an angle and used that as a pocket and then I've got these little cards here from the kit that I've used with the stickers. I've cut out the squares use the stickers and use them for journaling and then you can just slot them behind and this is just all about how um, I always work on the go I'm always planning ahead taking everything with me that I need and um, I'm working the car there I am with my coffee I just took that photo yesterday I'm always planning ahead so I can function as much as possible when I'm out and about and try and get things done even when I'm not at home or work and um, so I'm a true planner girl so there we go, there is my page in my creative journal using the same pocket DIY. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I would love to know, with regards to the tracking, do you do any kind of like habit tracking, budget tracking, anything like that? I've tried to do it in um, 
my bullet journal before and I just again because I think it's closed and it's put away I don't get things out I always start well but then I forget about them so I'm wondering actually having this on my desk in front of me every day if it will actually help me I'm hoping so I'll keep you updated and let you know but let me know um, if you do all the tracking and how you do it are you good at getting your book out and actually tracking it do you have a set time when you do it any um tips let me know i would love to know because i'm really bad at keeping things up but thank you for watching today i hope you have enjoyed this video have a great day and i will see you on friday with a shopping video take care bye